Let's talk about the five biggest advantages of using LUTs in Affinity Photo. Hello, my friends. How are you doing? My name is Olivio. I'm a professional designer. Let's get started. The first big advantage is that you get to use the styles of other artists in Affinity Photo with just one click. And I've actually created multiple LUT packs for you that are linked below this video. So you can check them out if you want. There is a ton of amazing LUTs and you can simply import them into Affinity Photo and then you can click through them and see if they fit with your photo. You can see how easy that is and if the LUT seems to be a little bit strong, you can use the opacity slider to simply reduce it. Let's go here to 75%. I would say that looks really beautiful. The second big advantage is that you can use the LUTs easily on all of your photos to have the same style. So bringing your photos into the same look is no problem. For example, here, let's use the pastel cyan orange warm LUT on this photo. You can see how the colors have changed and go to a second photo like this. Use the same LUT and you can see now they have the same style. That's a really huge advantage. The third advantage is that you can easily create your own LUTs and then use them not just in Affinity Photo, but also in other software tools. I use that myself on a daily basis because I know the adjustment layers inside of Affinity Photo. So for example, if I want to have a specific look for a video, I often create a screenshot of that video, import it into Affinity Photo, use the adjustment layers and then use that LUT in the video program. Let me show you for a second how that works. So for example, here, let's go to adjustments and say, we want to make a little bit of a curve adjustment here. Let's say like this. And then maybe we also want to work on the white balance a little bit. Let's go, for example, like that, warm it up a tiny bit. And let's say for the vibrance, Let's have a little bit more vibrance. Why not? Okay, let's say we are happy with this. Now to export this as a LUT is as easy as going to file and then export LUT. This is what you have to do. I usually set mine to 64 here and then give it a good descriptive name and simply click on export. And then you can use it in any other program that can use LUTs. Now, the important thing here is this only works with adjustment layers. It doesn't work with overlays. It doesn't work with filters or blur effects or any kind of thing like that. A LUT can only change the brightness, saturation and hue of a pixel, not the sharpness or any kind of other thing like that. The next benefit is in Affinity Photo. What you can do is you go to the Adjustments tab to LUTs and here you can create your own category and import the LUTs that you want to have in that category. This makes it super fast because you can sort the best looks, the best LUTs you like, even create categories for different photo types like portrait, landscape, architecture, and then quickly click on that LUT so your photo is adjusted in seconds. The next huge benefit, of course, is you can also do this as a batch process. Let me show you how that works. I will go to view and then studio and macro. This will open up my macro recorder here. So what I want to do here is I click on the red record button and then I apply my LUT and I set the opacity I want to have, let's say here 75%. And then I simply click here on stop like so. So you can see now it's stopped and I have this icon here that says add to library. So I can give a descriptive name to my macro. Let's just call it LUT test for this time. And you can select a category where you want to save this macro. Let's click here on OK. And this will open up my macro library. And in here, if you want to, you can even create your own categories and save them again with descriptive names, portrait, architecture, and so on. Now, how do you load this into the batch process? Actually, very easy. You simply go to File and then to Batch Shop. And here you select all of the files with Add that you want to apply to all of the photos. And here from your available macros, 
remember we have saved into default you simply select the macro that you want to have in this case LUT test and then you set up here what kind of save file type you want to use in this case not affinity photo we want to use jpeg and you click on apply and this will apply the lot with the opacity you have set up while recording your macro for hundreds of pictures if you want to so if you have a series of for example this model here sitting on the pool with the same light situation you can apply to all of the photos with just these few clicks so that is really amazing and it is just that easy because we are using LUTs. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please leave a like and thank you to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube channel members who support me and make these videos possible. See you soon. Bye.